Sexy. Sounds music. Welcome back yep, to the place yep, where yeah. nothing is safe. This is episode one one six. What are you? Is that? Uh, I'm just an invisible. I'm just. <laughs> you know. You know what they say <laughs> about <laughs> you know visualizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, yeah. I'm looking like it's skin. It's skin thirty right now. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's episode one hundred sixteen of the Jig Is Up podcast. You know me. I'm your host, Dios Marco, and I'm with. It's your guy, M Easy. It's your girl, Miss Nessa, a.k.a. Blazing Mommy. It's your boy, Kmart, a.k.a. It's hot as fuck right now. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the homie <laughs> with us. Yeah, what up? It's Dan, a a certi- a.k.a. Jamal. A- oh, Jamal, a certified a jigger in the house. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> a representative of the Jig Squad. Hey. Hey. He's a resident. Jig Squad. A resident oh. of the safe house. <laughs> resident yeah. of the safe house. Squad. Squad. Jig Squad in the house. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? We, we welcome like him. We welcome him with bullets and shit. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to the house, nigga. <laughs> Jig squad. Trap house. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, welcome, nigga. Ain't nothing safe about this. House. You know. <laughs> He's on, on, on I mean, on, would, I mean, would you want me to re- re- uh, welcome the Jig Squad with this? <laughs> That's even <laughs> worse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm uh, trying to get them hyped up. It's like a point on that. Welcome. Right, <laughs> trying to get him hyped up. Um, Jig Squad, just let you guys know, pull up to the Barber Festival, the San Diego Barber Festival, August nineteenth. Nineteenth. Um, it's why from I thought you was talking to us right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said Jig Squad. Look, what? What was up? <laughs> <laughs> see, look at that, see? He's like, yeah, I, yeah, I am the Jig Squad. <laughs> I'm part of the Jig Squad too. You're right. Excuse me. <laughs> Listen up, Jig Squad. Uh, if you guys are in the San Diego area, Southern California, if you want to make your way to come see us live, I don't know when we're going to perform our live session, but it is uh, from 12 noon to 9 p.m. It's a barber festival. Man, it's going to be all kinds of stuff going on. Like I said, there's going to be entertainment from DJs, dancers. It's going to be some barber competitions. The queen and king of SD who runs this whole thing. Price is going to be given out, and we're just going to be out here having fun. Uh, I think it's a family fun, fun, uh, family fun oriented place. So you can take your kids family out there center. and have fun. Yeah, family fun center <laughs> with barbers. Get your hair cut. Oh get lined God. up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and the location is um, fair at 44, which is on 4350 El Cajon Boulevard, San Diego, California, 92105. I believe that's the college area. I have to look at that. More look details that to come. More details to come. What uh, dates get? But in the meanwhile, we'll <laughs> follow SD Barber Festival. Get your tickets from their Instagram or hit up Eventbrite and hit up the Dash San Diego Barber Festival. And other than that, man, um, you know, hopefully we'll have some merch giveaway for the first five people that show up that rock with us. So, oh, that's what's up. Yeah, you know, you know, I didn't know we had merch like that. No well, way. We don't, but we'll work it. We'll do it for the squad. <laughs> Should have kept going with it. Yeah, we got the merch. Where you been at, M Easy? <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the jig itself. I wouldn't kept it on hundred with ourselves. So, yeah, right. and nothing is safe. Like nothing that. is safe. Okay, those are facts. Speaking of nothing is safe, let's <coughs> go ahead and uh, get this shit started. Oh All right. So I was looking up, scouring the internet for. Something that will fit our story because we talk about a little bit of everything, a little geek, a little street, a little bit in between. That's how we roll. And I know it's been out there and it's been talked about, but I was intrigued with the story about the the evidence of the Power Ranger curse. Have you guys heard of it? Nah. No. <laughs> I came across this a little while back, but I wasn't I wasn't There's thinking, some I wasn't thinking it was a curse. 
you know how they had you the know. Lee family curse. Yeah. Now allegedly the Madden curse. <laughs> That's Still, funny. Yeah. You know. I mean, um, you know. But now there's supposedly from the the ranker dot com. Uh, under the graveyard shift that's the the website that i went to they're starting to formulate all these past power rangers past present new whatever's going on 14 people in the franchise that have died unnaturally or they or committed by murder so you said 14 14 damn, damn. yeah it's kind of like that uh that company that i mentioned yeah. now in germany before Oh, the first one I remember this as a kid. Remember the um the lady who played as Trini, the mm-hmm. original yep, Yellow, Yellow Ranger. Ranger? Yeah, mm-hmm. Trini. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, her real name is uh um, for all my Vietnamese people, don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> Toy Trang. I don't know how to pronounce her first name correctly. I don't want to butcher he it. He just butchered it. No. <laughs> Probably did. I apologize to all my Vietnamese <laughs> listeners. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So she played as uh, Trini Kwan as the Yellow Ranger, but beforehand her childhood was crazy. Uh, she escaped Vietnam by a boat. What the? Fuck? With a few of her family members, and she survived a detention camp in Hong Kong during oh, her <laughs> wow. during her voyage. Yo. She uh, she was extremely sick. And other refu- refugees suggested that her mother should throw her overboard. Damn. <laughs> so she, yeah. But eventually she made it to America, and at the point she became interested in acting, and she landed her role in the Power Rangers as the martial <laughs> art <laughs> as, as trainee. She funny. started in 80 episodes for the first two seasons. So she already had a rough childhood. Damn. Unfortunately, her career was cut short at the age of 27 as she became a uh, first victim of the supposed Power Ranger curse. In two thousand, in two thousand and one, uh, she was driving around California, and then the car suddenly lost control and plummeted straight down a cliff. Like it was a freak accident, Nigga. Mm-hmm. killing her, but leaving her friends quadriplegic. Oh shit! Dang. Yeah, I remember that other movie she was in. She was in The Crow, uh, the Crow, the Crow. City of Angels. Mm-hmm. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she was. She died in that movie. <laughs> was it off a cliff? No, off the window though. Mm. She got thrown off a window, and um, to to make matters worse, you know, they said in the uh, 2017 Power Rangers movie, it showcased accidentally a po- a, the new Yellow Ranger with the slogan "Driver's Ed Not Required." I guess you, no, I don't know. If that was a subliminal shot or mm. nothing like that. Wow. <laughs> um, the I other another notable actor in the franchise, uh, Eric Frank, is the brother of. Jason David Frank who play as Tommy mm. and so in Power Rangers Zeo they were casting for Tommy <laughs> Oliver's brother so they hired his, his real life brother and he he had a cool little run as you know as things went on and then his, his story arc got cut short because he passed at the age of 29 and there was no exact cause of his death it was just like some unknown or unspecified illness what? What the hell? That's so they don't know how he died. They don't know he how just he died. died from natural causes. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of scary. And there's another one. Oh, this one I kind of remember. Ricardo Medina Jr. He was convicted of stabbing his roommate to death with a sword. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. I remember that yeah. one. There was um, it was any more that you have on there too, or just oh, dude, there's. Cause I remember one that that, There's that, robs, a, that robs some some houses. Some lady named Pita Ruder. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't remember this. She t- she developed a brain tumor and died at the age of fifty. Mega. Oh, well, she, I mean, she was in the Power Rangers Mystic Force back in two thousand six. The fuck. Uh, mm-hmm. Richard Janelle, mm-hmm. the guy who played who was in the Angel Grove Youth Center, the the chubby guy. Yeah. He passed away. He died of a heart attack at age fifty. So he looked like well, forty-seven kind of, to be exact. Uh, remind me of Louis Anderson. Yeah. So it's either mm-hmm. they didn't make it to thirty, or they died at fifty. Between like thirty, yeah. between twenty-five uh, and. Mashiko Soga, the the lady who played as Rita, not the voice, but the actual physical Rita. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't help but to link her voice. Yeah. With her yeah. Voice. yeah. No, <laughs> I can't help it. But yeah, I remember she died at age sixty-eight, battling uh, pancreatic cancer. And uh, the actor who did the voice and played as Zordon. He died of a heart attack. No, Brian Cranston. He, no, he's that, still alive. Nah, nah. No, no, no. <laughs> talking about the original Zordon. <laughs> nah. and, he, and he died at age 43. Oh, wow. What the fuck? 
it, uh, there was another one, Richard Rabargo. He died at age 68. He was the um, he was a he was legendary in the world of mix oh not mixed martial arts but in the world of martial arts. He fell victim to an infamous curse. Born in Hawaii, so he must. That's what it said. His death. Yeah. Fell victim to an <laughs> infamous <laughs> curse. <laughs> That's That's it. Different. No, he fell. No, he fell victim to the franchise infamous curse. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm like. Uh, <laughs> This shit is fucking plan. Uh, like, like, Marco, get off this site, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <let's>, right? <laughs> I'm moving on. <laughs> Someone died of suicide at 8 38. Dang. Uh, yeah, dude. It, yeah, this website is crazy. I'm, what's another notable one? Even freaking what they said. Uh, they were Frank, the original Green Ranger. He got stabbed, too, like at a convention. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> I mean, he's still living, but he's like the yeah, Mr. he's the only he's Mr. One. Power Ranger. But damn, he even got stabbed. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, three years ago, I ran into Zach, the Black Power Ranger, mm-hmm. did a photo op with him. Yeah, that was cool. <gasps> it was two thousand ten. Yeah, my first Comic Con trip. Mm-hmm. Took a picture with him. Then saw him later at a freaking uh, karaoke mm-hmm. spot. Oh yeah, in L.A. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, that was like, man, that's kind of creepy. I was like, damn.